Okay, video number six, we're going to take a look at line operations. Specifically, we're going to take a look at rounding, weights, and the formatting tool. We have gotten to the point where we have got screws that we created in the last uh, video that had connection points onto them, and then we start to run connectors on them. But at this point, they're very square, angular components that we're looking at, and they're not quite where we want them to go and be. So we're going to start formatting those lines and we're going to make them look like actual electrical components. This is where we left off after the last video. Okay. When we take a look at it, we see that we have got black line going over there from screw one to screw four. We've got a red line from screw four back to screw two, uh, three, and we've got a blue line from screw two back to screw number five over there. We are going to work with some line tools now to go make these things look like actual conductors. Okay, line tools are going to be mostly up inside of here. We've done some drawing using lines before, but what we're going to do now is we're going to work with specifically this section over here called corner rounding. I'm going to click on that right now. And what happens is it opens up this other sidebar called format shape. It does have a couple of other things as well that you can use for like pictures and for, you know, alt text and things like that. Um, but we're not worried about that. What we are worried about is the use for lines and the use for fills. Now we have no components selected right now, so there's nothing that's available for us. But we'll click on a line. Let's pick this one over here. As soon as we click on that, now it says, hey, we've got a line. We can start adjusting the properties for it. We're going to first start by weighting this line out because on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, that line is gonna be too thin to be able to see necessarily. So I'm gonna increase my weight. Now you can do your weight right over here underneath the width operation here. You can type it in as being points or you can do it up top over here. I generally speaking for lines, use this up top section that we have over here. I'm going to go and select three points as being my width. It is my default selection for drawing conductors is always three point. Yours might be a little bit different, but hey, I'm making the video, not you, so that's it. It's three point now. We've got the three point over there. The second thing that we're now gonna be able to do is go to this rounding preset that we have over here. The Cap type above it doesn't make any difference. Rounding preset just deals with the corners. How much corner rounding versus how little. We can go all the way from just a little bit. You see it takes just the edge off of those. All the way down to, oops, sorry, wrong one there. All the way down to this, which is going to be maximum. Now, depending upon the amount of corner, like in here, there's a very small corner section. Therefore, it couldn't round very much. But as soon as we go to a much larger corner, it starts to round that much more severely. Generally speaking, I usually work on this corner over here. The very small rounding allows you to keep your lines more or less straight and you end up with less odd looking components that are gonna be inside of your drawing. We do that for this blue one. Let's go and take a look at this uh, red one over here. We're gonna make this red one just thicker once again. Now I can go back through all the manual steps and it's time consuming to go back through all the manual steps. And we're gonna go and show you some faster ways in a minute, but we'll just do it here one more time, wait, was done off a of three point. You'll note when I clicked it, because the last size I'd collected, selected was three point, that it automatically went there. So it went to three point weight and to a small amount of rounding. When I do that, that one is good to go. This one over here, we're gonna go and create now as a white conductor. White conductors are really tricky because if I would change this line color to white, hey, hey your students are gonna hate you much more than they may already, or hopefully not. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go and use what's called the compound type. And the compound type is right over here. And compound just allows us to change this line. So it's going to be a double line, single line, thin, thick, triple, whatever it's going to be. We're going to change it to this double line. And I'm actually going to make its weight become four and a half point. And when you create a four and a half point line and then you change it, it was originally solid line. We change it now to the double line. It appears as if you've got a white conductor that is outlined it with black. It is not actually white on the inside, by the way. It does go and have, um, it's just open. So it'll shine through whatever's in the back. We'll take a look at that in a second. But first, let's just finish rounding this off. I'm going to use the same rounding format on that. And now what we have over here is we've got a white conductor, we've got a red conductor, and we have got a blue conductor over here. What I was talking about before with that uh, line is that that line itself, if it goes over top of something, you'll see that it's not truly white on the inside, it's just clear, and so it rolls through. Note that it is still a conductor, and that if I were to take this line up top over there, it still tries to go and hop over top, okay? You can set priority in another part of the program for which one's vertical hop or horizontal hop. 
Uh, but any lines that do cross it or that it itself crosses, even though we've applied all of these rounding presets and these colors and those widths, it still will continue to go and do dot and hop. Okay, that's the basic lines. Now, it's painstaking when you've got a large diagram, I'm gonna close this over here, and you've got a lot of connectors that need to all become the exact same color. We're gonna show you a faster way. I'm gonna grab a bunch of other connectors over here. Remember how that we dealt with the connector tool before? So I'm just gonna grab this, I'm gonna take that one there, that one there, and uh, this one over here, you can actually snap more than one conductor to the same side of the screw or to the same connector point over there. So we've got three other conductors. I wanna do this quickly now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select the line that I want them to be. Okay, let's say that we want these things to be red. By selecting this line, it is now active. What I'm then going to be able to do is use this tool over here. It's called the Format Painter. It's got a little brush. If I click the Format Painter once, it's going to allow me to do so now I've got a paintbrush there. It'll allow me to go and click once to basically discard that format. So it allowed me to take this rounding, the three mil. Note how that thing became rounded. It became the proper three point at the same time. But you'll note that this brush turned back off again. I'm just gonna hit Control Z for undo. If you've got multiple lines that you need to do at once, what you do is you select the line you wanna copy. So this is the line we wanna copy and then you're gonna double click the Format Painter. And now we've got a permanent format painter that we can go and roll around any line inside of our diagram. Uh, just move that guy like that. You know, and we can start changing any of these lines that we want into it. Do be careful when you've got the permanent pointer on here, you have to turn the permanent pointer off. If you don't turn the permanent pointer off and you click on something else like that, all of a sudden all these lines went to become that red, you know, rounded instead of the whole, you know, screw loses its structure. Control Z, we'll turn that thing back off over there. Um, just make sure that you click on it again to go and lose it. I'm just gonna go and try one more here. We'll just change this to black. I'll show you, so I've got a black line here I wanna change them all to. I'm gonna click the black line. I'm gonna double click this one. Gives me permanent brush. I'm gonna click on all the lines I wanna change. And let's say that those are the only lines that I wanna change. Then what I need to do is click on it one more time to turn that format painter off. And now I'm safe to click on any other lines. It's no longer changing stuff around. All right, that is rounding weights and formats as they uh, regard to lines. They do also work with shapes. You know, you have the rectangle over here. If I were to go and open up this corner rounding, the rectangle has a line around the outside. What you can do is you can take that line, you can round it, and now I have got a rounded rectangle. Or if I have got a couple of components, and I splice them together, Let's grab those two, we'll do that union that we've done before. I've now got this square one tied to this rounded one, and what I can now do is I can go and round all the corners off of that component like that to get a smooth looking piece. Okay, that covers us off for rounding, line weighting, and format. Once again, the trick to that white conductor, make sure you use that compound. Okay, and the white conductor I use as a weight at four and a half there. Just makes the four and a half hollow core is about equivalent to the solid, you know, black or red or blue or whatever color you're using.